My own niece and nephew used to call me Uncle Education. And they used to call Kev Uncle Fun Time. True uh, story. Uh, <laughs> I know. Doesn't sound great. But... You don't want to meet Uncle Hans? I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's German, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Surfers get ready. When people get ready. Surfers get ready. Come see with me. Sippers, welcome to this episode of the Tea With Me podcast with me, Shane Tall. Before we get into this episode, you're so childish. Before we get into the before we get into this episode, I need to tell you that Patreon.com <laughs> Silly boys, like just silly. Don't ha don't um because I need to go. Um this is Edsington Town Hall all over again. This is Kieran's Revenge. And Willie T's here who's not even he doesn't make it to this episode. We're ahead of time. But back in time, he actually never made it to this episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it on camera? Please tell me it's on camera. Willie T, not for the first time, finishing all over his own chest. Patreon.com slash Tea With Me podcast. Bonus episode every Monday. Live stream every Friday. You can go back in time and watch a load of old stuff that's on there too. Everything's happening. Mock Blame's on there by now. Um... Millionaire, on, stars in their eyes. What? Who wants to be a millionaire? Stars Who wants to be a millionaire eyes? and stars in your eyes? Uh, where some people rightfully won and some people shouldn't have been winning the top three. I have just announced um, today, if you're watching this on Wednesday, but if it was on Tuesday, don't say I said this, because tomorrow I'm announcing another SSA Arena show. Full house, second night at the SSA Arena. Friday the 15th of November. Thank you for all the support so far. And people who have bought so many tickets for the first show. I am madly doing another night in the full arena at the SSE in Belfast. Tickets will go out in Ticketmaster this Friday at 10 a.m., I think, unless I change it closer to the time, which case, ignore it. We are sponsored by none other than Manscaped. Manscaped are the number one in, <laughs> in men's below the belt grooming. <laughs> men's below the belt grooming. <laughs> men's below the belt grooming products. They've got everything you need. If you're traveling, like on Monday, I'm going to uh, Copenhagen and Oslo with Willie T. You'll, you'll probably not make that, though. Um, and we're definitely taking all of our Manscaped products with us and shaving each other up in the hotel room like two, uh, like two little sheep. Manscaped have everything. You can use the code tea with me for 20% off and free shipping. The link is in the description. This episode was Tell us a little bit more about Manscaped. Oh, Manscaped. Oh, these guys love it. Your balls, your dick, all of it. You can shave yourself what about down. the handyman and the hedger? The handyman and the hedger. They've got it all. They're brilliant. Manscaped.com, Tea With Me podcast. Uh, check out the link in the description. Tea With Me for 20% off and free shipping. Ah, that's, to that's 60 seconds. My guest this week was supposed to be William Thompson and Kieran Bartlett. William gets locked in his house by his uh, granda, which is weird because William's 27. But my guest was Kieran Bartlett. Who needs two guests when you've got Kieran Bartlett? Kieran would have carried this episode any... Stop. Just stop doing that, William. Um, Kieran was a brilliant guest. Uh, we had a great old time. We talked about... What did we talk about, Kieran? We talked about our shows and we talked about that's not I, can't, I can't remember we talked about all different things didn't we Dan what did we talk about a real we talked about your we talked recent about trip oh to the Kieran had to go to hospital to give a sperm sample yep I did I did and I everyone knows I believe I missed this yeah, yeah. you made it was a great time uh, we're also running a competition at the end of this uh, podcast to win that sample but um, please enjoy this episode of Tea With Me podcast with my good friend because you, you find out sometimes people in comedy you think your friends aren't because they let you down but my real true friend, Kieran Bartlett, was able to make it and be part of the podcast. I did too, did I? Oh, here I was. Solanke's turn sounds yeah. like a place in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to go to Solanke's turn, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. I, was, I was some goal. Well, I like guess we started the episode, but you look like you were like, Are we? yeah, you look like we were reminiscing in Vietnam there. Oh no, no I was no. some goal from Dominic Solanke. <laughs> well, I didn't know what started. Thank That's God. a fun name to say. Is Solanke? Is there any um, like words you really like or Jan Vanager of Hesselink? I I used to enjoy saying that. No, but it doesn't even need to be a footballer. Like right. I, I like. Um, you know the Sinn Féin, like is, I think it's the annual party conference. It's called the Ardesh. Yeah, that's a good I really one. like the the word yeah. Ardesh. Uh, Pleasing to say. I like saying silica. 
What's Silica. That? Oh, the wee thing that comes in the shoes? Uh, what is, here, here's a big question, right? And there's a lot going on the I know the answer. What does that do? It stops the shoe. It, it absorbs moisture. So that's why you get, when you get new shoes, they're always that, you know, that feeling of like, straight out of the factory dry. Straight out of the factory dry? Yeah, they're dry because you put the silica in that absorbs any moisture that's in the air. That's why you, if you eat it, that's a problem for you. <laughs> <laughs> Having had experience yeah, of that. Yeah, well, it says you, all over you, it, do not eat. You've you know definitely I mean? had a silica yeah. overdose before. <laughs> but that's what it does. It stops things from getting uh, like moist in the box, as it were. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's immature, isn't it? Yeah, that's great, that. though. Um, Kieran, what that, sorry, what about that Luton match though, mental? Would you like Luton? Here's just the last football thing for now. Would you, I want Luton to stay up. Because yes. see, see the... They're the Blackpool of this season. The relegation zone of Nottingham Forest, Burnley, Sheffield United suits me down to the ground. I like Forest. I don't. I like I, I liked them better last year when they had a couple of players, but they sold one of them, one of the ones I like to Tottenham. Right. Um... It's Brandon great Johnson. to see you, and can I just say, I, I think we talked about this at Mysteries Live, which, by the way, what a night. Oh, what, what a night. night. Uh, those two two episodes will be coming out from that, the Moon Landings episode, the Gladiators episode. I can't wait till we put that video clip out. Oh, mate, what a of time Gladiator. Oh. Fosty on the AI Fire. fakes. Far. This guy's going to end up working for, like, world leaders, like, blackmailing world leaders. He's that good yeah, at Yeah, you know? deep fake and just yeah. Donald Trump being signed. <laughs> Oh, you satirist. I know, I know. <laughs> very droll, Kieran, very droll. <laughs> um, Need to get some silica there because that was so dry. <laughs> you um, you were at my house a couple of weeks ago. We haven't yeah. talked about this on an actual pod. And, um, Lovely place, Shane. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Oh, well, listen, can I just say you're a big hit really? with my oldest son, yeah. Mad. You think he, he, I'm not joking. You think you're the coolest guy on earth? I am. Most of that is based around the fact that you have a truck. I do have a truck. You know? I enjoyed, our, our wee time was good. The crack was good. The crack I, was good. I don't really know how to get on, generally. Well, you'd said this to me before, kids. right? You'd said this to me before, but I, th- I thought you were, you were, you were I've been accused a real natural. My, my, my own niece and nephew used to call me Uncle Education. And they used to call Kev Uncle Fun Time. True uh, story. Uh, I know. <laughs> Doesn't sound great, but... You don't want to meet Uncle Hans? I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's German, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like... Uh, Uncle Education? Yeah, because... It's the nickname of all no, time. No, it was the... It was, it was Kev. Kev gave me the nickname. Right. Because I would be... I would have bought them, like, educational toys. From the early learning centre and things like that, he was going out and getting, like, water balloons, and I'm being like, no, guys, sort the blocks into colours and sizes. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... yeah. Develop geometric shape knowledge. You know what I mean? So, like, they were... They're smarter because of me. What even is that that you said? Well, geometrics. Yeah. Geometry. Shapes and Maths. sizes. I don't know any of that. Shapes. Honestly. Spatial stuff. I have bad spatial awareness. So, like, trying to... You know, or, like, here... See, see, if, see, if, you want, see if you want an uncle who's gonna, you know, buy a load of chocolate and whatever. That's not me. I like your chocolate. See if you want... Says so the man who brought you brought more chocolate. Well, he won't go when bring, you brought that much I, chocolate to my house. I did bring You're a liar. You brought so house. much chocolate to my house. You, you you won't believe the nightmare we had trying to find some for you in Marxies, by the way. Marxies doesn't cater for dietary requirements for you. There's not a, very well. There's a free from section. We went, You're right, we, were at, great, we were at the great. biggest free from section, but there's loads of it's free from gluten. Not a lot of it's free yep. from dairy. Yeah. So, but no, you, 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 you and Chloe very much catered for us. It was good. And, uh, you gave us a good tip about Newcastle, by the way. We went that chippy, what do you call it? Docks. It's oh. good. Kieran was, uh, Kieran Great and Chloe brought this uh, blow up football for my son, and then you can draw on it. A scribble. Make your own design. A scribble. scribble. Um, Screw and it. Karen kind of had a problem with the way my three year old was drawn at one point. No, I didn't. I didn't. You did. You did. Right. Okay. In your head, he was gonna. He was gonna do like you know perfect drawn. He mentioned the phrase about being outside of the lines very quickly. I did. Yeah. Yeah. I said. I, I said, think you're supposed to be in the lines. No. I said. Do you want to? I said. Do you want to? Because when we started, we were doing it all in, and I went. Do you want to stay in, or do you want to go outside the lines? How passive aggressive, dear <laughs> child, dear <laughs> child. <laughs> Do you want to say? Do you want to do this right, or do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to do fuck you want, it up? Do you want to do it? <laughs> <laughs> and then no, my this so, is a so scribble. I did, so I so I did a scribble, and then let's say child A. Uh, <laughs> You're not in court. Uh, stabbed, 
he was he was stabbing the ball in, and I was worried that it was going to bust the marker over your your uh, your counter, right? Which no one wants. But then, There's so I was just saying, go a bit easier, go a bit easier on the stab. Yeah, yeah. you know. But uh, Maybe go great. stab it, but don't stab it. That you know, hard. Don't it was stab funny it whenever hard. whenever we asked whose names we put on it. Yeah, and he was happy for his name. My didn't name, his brother's your name. name, wouldn't have his brother's name. Yeah, because he didn't call it in. Yeah, he top banter. He was having Kieran time. Yeah, it was great. Here, and then seeing your truck, like how uh, cool to a child, mate. That's man cool. with a truck, it's cool to me. Look, do you know what I mean? So, I bought a truck. Yeah, I enjoyed. It. He had the wee the wee baby. He had the like the the toy truck. Yes, the same truck. Would you um, would you hate it if just to like impress my son if I just bought a truck than yours, but it was. <laughs> Slightly bigger. You w- it would annoy me if it was better than mine. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to be the same or less. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so h- talk to me about truck life, right? Because we know you got the truck. Are you like? I'm taking abuse off people for the truck, by the way. Why? I don't the, know. The, the, because of the uh, green footprint. I, d- I don't know. Here, well, we're offset that now because Chloe has an electric car now, so we're, we're offset in a car. They're, they're worse for the environment. <laughs> Are they? Well, we're making. How do you charge it? How do you charge it, Kieran? Electric. There you go. But here, electric, you can make it's all renewable now. We'll have solar really? panels. But you guys have it. a wind farm at I'm the look, house. I'm looking, I'm, look, I'm looking into solar panels, but I think, I think it, I think it's shit. I think it's a shit deal for you now. Right. It's not like the RHI days where you know the government was giving you fucking money hand over fist. I got in really early. On I that. know. Yeah. <laughs> Three warehouses <laughs> out, out in Down Patrick. I was the only comedian not doing material. About it. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, it's like guys, give them a chance. They're doing their best. <laughs> it's not perfect. I um, I wonder. I I don't know. Is I there a truck what? guy etiquette? Like if you're out. You're driving down Botanic on the way to Cafe O. You see another guy coming up the street in the truck. Is there a nod or is there a... I do, I've, I've, done, I've done a few nods. I've definitely nodded a guy. Do you know what I've started doing? Nodding at guys in white vans. Because right. we're all in commercial vehicles now. <laughs> yeah. So there's like a... So I got commerce in the car. Yeah. And then I've started saying... I've started picking up wee phrases. about uh, Alpha phrases about the amount of petrol that it uses. Diesel. I've started. I've started picking up wee phrases. So like you know, some people go, "How's she treating you?" And I'll go, "She's thirsty." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, or you, you know, putting a putting a putting a <laughs> filling it up costs you know a bit of money. Like and so, yeah. somebody goes, "How much would it be? How much would it be to fill her up?" And you go, "Ah, oh, it'll shorten your afternoon." Hell yeah. <laughs> you know. So I've learned. I've learned those. My dad has about fifty of them. He could teach you. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I like, I like learning things like that off real men. Yeah, because I don't have them. So is that fa- is that fast? Is it like shit off a shovel? <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand them all, but they work. Yeah. It's the way you say them. Yeah, you know. I, I do enjoy. Oh, thirsty. <laughs> and are you are you good at parking it? No. Uh did you hear that? Did you hear the? Did you hear yeah. we're 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 going to therapy twice a week? The <laughs> the uh, <laughs> stay together. <laughs> uh, so no, there's 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 you get a partner and I'll in the background. Hmm. Karen, you love Chloe that much that if you got divorced and you got another wife, you would still be with Chloe all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's William. <laughs> you said, uh, ima- imagine you were, imagine Chloe left you. You're single again. And by the way, you only, you don't even like the premise of this because you're thinking about I'm Chloe leaving. Sitting there going, why you send us on podcast? <laughs> right. Imagine, imagine, right? Chloe leaves you. You're on a date. You get set up on a blind date, and you're like, listen, you know. She goes, I really like you, and you, right? I like you too, but listen. I've got two, and she's like, "Listen, I've got kids too." You're like, "Nah, Chloe and William, <laughs> they will be part Don't of our lives." Sorry on our calf. <laughs> <laughs> Every, anywhere we live has to have a place for Kev to age. Anyway, so <laughs> you like you and her having a dinner, and then there's like a soft play, and it's her three children, and just Chloe, Kev, and William. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what oh, was the question? Now. No, what was the? There was a question. Oh, am I good at parking it? Not really. Right. Do you know, I'll say this, I'm good at parking in other places. I'm not good at parking in our drive. The drive, I'm just not good at it. It takes me a couple of goes. I, I, I could I could bet here, but I won't. It, it's, the do, it's the do with, you have to pull in at a certain angle, which I always think I've got right, but probably don't. Right. And then it takes me two goes. Do you ever goes. get like... If it's raining, four. Do men ever guide you in? 
No, Chloe has said the phrase, do you want me to do it? About eight times. Ah, oh, no. And I'm like, I can't let you do it. Yeah. I have to get this for myself, no matter how many goes. Yeah. You know do you I mean? get road rage? Yes. Really? Yes, but not. it's not as bad as it used to be. It was worse whenever I was in my wee 1.0 hand I get, being like, ee. Yeah. People would do things that, that would annoy me. Because you weren't getting respect in that? It's hard to get respect and it gets, but uh, it's one thing it doesn't get is respect. Oh, sorry. I uh, No, I, I like that wee car. Do you know, my, my rage is usually to do... Well, I did a, a, I did a speaking course the other day, Shane. I don't mind telling you. So, Just for the crack or...? No, no. Uh, I was you been speeding? I, I was pulled over. It's illegal? I, I've talked about this. I know. I, was, I got pulled over. Sometimes in your car, I didn't really. I didn't. Two things. I didn't oh, there's always someone in the course. I've done one of these courses, and everyone just wants. I to have like, a brilliant new car. Possible. I didn't realize the speed I was doing. It's and so there, quiet. There's always there was a fella on the course I did, and he went. I was just test driving it, and they were like, "Yeah, but were you speeding in it?" He goes, "Yeah," and I'm like, "This isn't the inquiry. You've been caught. We need to just <laughs> Here, get through this." I admit it. I, got I was caught. just test driving. I got caught. The guy put me over was totally dead on. Where yeah. were you speeding? Were. Yeah. Uh, down near Newry. How fa- I don't blame you. How, um, I was about 10 mile an hour over. Right. I was doing about 80 and a 70. Ooh. Speed kills. So the guy... <laughs> Listen, I'm not proud of it, but here, I'm, I'm prepared to talk about it. The guy pulls you over. Pull me over and give me... Give what me does he ticket. say? Does he recognise you? Yes. But he didn't... He was very professional. Right. Because this is an hour thing. I can't talk about this because I'm actually going to end up doing stand-up about this thing. But, but I had a hospital appointment yesterday. I'm getting recognised in places where you sort of wish somebody would just go, ask Karen Warland, leave it in your head. Right. Don't fucking, don't, oh, don't talk to me. I've had a colonoscopy while talking to the staff about like gigs. Yeah, like mate, it's, 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 <laughs> it's rare like, uh, and all oh, the yeah. thing. Also, see getting circumcised when everyone's like, oh, go to your shows. <laughs> Oh, you're looking at my cock. <laughs> you're <laughs> about to cut some of my penis off. Mate, the, right. How do you cover your material? You know what? <laughs> just whatever. Fucking come if you're prepared to say that, if you're prepared to say that, I was away getting, and this is a word that nobody wants to use in this place. What? What are you going to tell me? You getting, You joining me? No, no, no. But although I might at some point, but not not yet. <gasps> this was, a, I was away getting. Force game bros. I was away getting a, what do you call it? A. And this is what it should be called, by the way. Hey, it's like tell us it. A, j- a jizz analysis done, right? A jizz analysis. Right. Semen analysis. Well, he played for Barcelona, didn't he? Yeah. Not jizz analysis. Yeah. Well, well you say semen back, analysis, it's people going, great shot, stop, we're terrible on lobs. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, you're Jizz analysis, right. I think he had a great World Cup. He was left back for Algeria. <laughs> and then he signed, I think Wigan signed him and he yeah. never, never really went and going yeah. back home. When Mito was there, I... Uh, so you had a you had a you had a anyway, semen analysis. I did a jizz analysis. So where thing. do you go for this? The um in shops. No, the uh, <laughs> <laughs> down to the royal, down to the fertility clinic. Right, right, you go in there and then do you have to provide a sample there and then? This is the basis of a new bit of stand up shit. Doesn't matter. Let it's me so ask you this. Grim. Let me no, ask you this. So, no, no, I'm saying it's so grim. Surely you could take it home. No, I, I, I see. I wondered about that. Now I I think. Pres- presumably the reason why they don't do that do that is because then don't you do could, that no but presumably the reason why you, you don't do that is because must have a bit stuck um, <laughs> is because you now I'm not saying I would do this but other men whatever it is he's about to say he would do it no but like you could get someone else to do it yes and go see my I'm fine right so I think they want you to go plus they also want to make it's like food. having someone else set, set your theory driving test yeah, yeah. So this way is like, but way creepier. Yeah, uh, way saltier. So it was just like, it was. So hold uh, on, talk me through it. So it was, it was grim. Like, do you get given a sample, like a bottle? They give, they give you, um, they give you a cup that is, in my opinion, too big for right. what it's used for. They give me a two liter coke bottle. I know, right? So, <laughs> so they give you a cup. So they send you a letter and tell you, abstain from. Uh, explosives for a couple of days beforehand but not for as much as a week right so you need to thump one out a week before and then wait five days thank right? you doctor right <laughs> and, uh, that's what it says in the letter and, um, uh, and then and then so you go in mate it's just so bleak right so, so so do you so on my way to the room I'm getting a lot of 
So on my way in, <laughs> on my way in, you're about to go bust. So I go in, I go into the place they tell me to go to, right? The right. the maternity. I say to the lady, so is it the fertility clinic's part of the maternity hospital? Thank God, I was like, I'll take this, and you just went to the maternity ward. No, no, no. But you are you, doing great, girls. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody push at the same time, right? Now, this is, this you is should the, never push, right? Until the very end. It's top knowledge. I wouldn't have known this. Um, so the the point, the so so sorry. I go in and I say, I have a wee appointment in the fertility clinic, and she goes, Oh, you need to go outside and go in this other door, right? And I'm like, Great, it's raining. So I walk out, and I go through there. Granted, part of the walk is covered anyway, <sighs> overhead. So I walk in, and the lady there goes. Oh, you just go in the front door, and I'm like, "This is a star of a Chocolate Brothers thing." I'm not going back around there. I went, I went. Listen, she sent me around here, and she goes, "Right, I'll show you." And she brought me around to the left, right, and she goes, "You go up here. It's on this floor. It's called Andrology, which is not as much fun as it sounds." And I, uh, I get, get, I go in there. By the way, she was, she was very helpful. On my way up in the lift couple of porters are in there and they're coming out of the left hand going in it's a bit of a Mr. Bartlett good to see you down here and I go it's not it's not so I go in a couple of people are in the lift and I can hear them going oh your man it does TikTok and all and I'm like don't look at where I'm walking to so I walk out I go into their lady in there every, listen everyone's very professional but also they're, they're clinical about it in a way where they say phrases that turns me right so like they'll say stuff like um Drain your nuts in there. So no, I w- I almost wish it was more like that. Right. I wish it was like go in here and have a quick wank, right? You you know, neither ni- all, that's ni- what we all say. Neither wring it out of yourself in ten seconds, nor are you on holiday, so don't edge it, right? right. But like, you know, quick wank. They should just say that instead of going. So you'll go in here and produce your wee sample. <laughs> You're like I'm not Timberland. <laughs> so I'm like <laughs> that's <fucking unbelievable. laughs> You come out with a beat. You are the sort of fucking nightmare guy that would come out. You would come out with a beat. I know, oh, I yeah. thought you meant. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't God no. Anyway, so fucking mental. Uh, so she she talked me through that wee bit. Uh, I mean, talk me through it. Told me I was gonna go and have a wank, and then the word the words that no one wants to use in this place are words that they should use, like wank and jizz. They don't see, so and then you just pop the wee sample in here. Do let us know if there's any spillages now, because we need to know if we're looking at a proper full sample. Right. And I'm just sitting there going, "This is fucking. This is, this is all my sins coming to visit me at once." Right. Right. So we, <laughs> I go into this room right now. There's so many levels of things that are funny to me about this room. Talk to me about the room. What is the so, room? So look the like? room, the room is an ante room. The toilet. So aunties in there. Yeah. I help you out, son. <laughs> so, <laughs> get that here. Give us, give us twenty wriggle light in your wee dick. All right. So wriggle filter, and a wee salt. Eh? So, uh, <laughs> give us twenty silk cut. <laughs> I go at that like I'm nicking a bookie's pen. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like so it's like a wee it's like a wee a wee pre room to a toilet. There's a little like the door to the toilet is open, right? Yeah. So you walk in, there's a bog. Now this is what's hard to this is this is the bit that's hard to explain. See in rooms where there's like a nook like this? Mm-hmm. Right. Imagine the chair. Im- imagine this comes out further, mm-hmm. and then imagine the wank chair. There's a screen up there that you can't. There's nothing on it. Right. right? Just the TV. Imagine this comes out further. Then the chair is like in there. Yep. But like against the wall. Right. So you have to sit on the corner of the chair, so that you're like out of the nook. If you know what I mean. Right. And then they have like a big bog roll thing that comes down, like a a big bog roll. Like a like a, a man's width, a normal man's width, to go across the across the chair. So you're sitting on a big bit of bog roll, right? Oh, that goes down first. And that's you sit on, on. That's that. on. You sit on the bog roll, yeah. And then get. So you to have it. to sit. You don't. You could stand. I'm. I'm. I wouldn't ever stand for a wank. If anything, I lie down on my side like Caesar. No, <laughs> I don't lie on my side. But I'm. I was annoyed. Do you know what I was annoyed? <laughs> 
I was in because when we were talking. This is the the thing about stand up. But I was. I no, Chloe, uh, is Chloe in with you or Chloe and Kev? <laughs> No one's in with me, but Chloe's out in the car and Kev's downstairs in the wee shop. Now, we, uh, we're, we're in... Uh, we're, By the way, like, is there things like... Is there, like, dirty magazines? <laughs> no, is there see, lube? This is, this is what we were talking about. There's nothing... There's no... There's no... Uh, there's no materials? Aids. No there, materials? No no supporting materials. Um, it would have been easy... It would have been easier to get a route in a refugee camp. Like, it was fucking... Like, it was not conducive to having a wank right it was just it'd be easier to get a route in the park center there you go and your similar area right <laughs> that's one of the worst things i've ever said it was so grim right and on the wall there's like a landscape there's like a picture of like a wee like a wee uh a wee lake and a wee like a wee cabin on the edge of the lake and i'm going oh, i love rural property right like so grim it's the grimmest thing, right? So I knock one out, right? How, does it take longer than normal? Well, well, it, it took longer than normal, shall we say, to get started because I was, I was, I couldn't get comfy. I ended up. I thought you were showing like you do this wee dance before. No, I ended up uh, only when Chloe's there. I ended up having to do. I ended up having to completely de bag. I won't lie. Trousers off. Trousers hung up on the back <laughs> of the wall. Which, which You're is only pervert. weird. Is only You're weird now that you are laughing. You're a pervert. No, no, I had, there was no. There is a lock. There is a lock on the door, and there's signs being like, "Make sure it's locked." So I gave it a good, right? What about the door? I know, and then I checked the lock, right? And there's also a big red cable that's like pull in case of emergencies. I'm like, what happens if you reach for something in the throws? Right. You know what I mean? Uh, anyway, so it was it was a fu- man. It was a fucking so, nightmare. So, I ma- imagine the. By the way, socks on or off? On socks on. Right. I look like a big chicken, right? <laughs> Socks on. <laughs> Socks on. Bags off. Uh, phone on or off? I, ha- I have my phone, so I will say. Right. Um, you were looking at ticket sales. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, your ticket sales. <laughs> oh, I sold out another one. Right. No, I was. Uh, I was. Um, oh, banger courthouse is going well. <laughs> There could be another marketplace oh, on man this. Gonna have to text Shane and get a low ticket warrant for Newcastle. Oh, right. So it was it was fucking mental. Put on the last few tickets for Portico there. <laughs> it was It was fucking grim, right? Like it yeah. was it So was, how long are you chatting? Ten minutes. Stop was, in, 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 the, in, the, in the room to finish ten, ten minutes. But right. this was what was going through my mind beforehand, isn't going what's a respectable because because there's a respectable clock out time, and then there, there's there's an un, there's a, a a not respectable one. If you're and in and out, and then there's a too long clock out time. If you're in and out in one minute, you're a pervert. Yeah, you're a deviant. You yeah. know, like you're like you're, you you're just turned have, on. You have by a the, special button. Yep. It's just like thumb it out. If you're an R, if, if well, I would think if you're any more than about ten. Yeah. I, I I think if you're hitting fifteen minutes. Yeah. You're you're edging it. Like so, yeah. I was going right. What are people? It's it was very weird. And then when it came up, did you think in your head the receptionist or someone's like Karen Bartlett's a way to do a, oh, a sperm sample? There was a bit of that. So they're all kind of standing around, you know. I well, see when I got there. So when I got there, there was like two semen al- analysts, uh, and they're the, called. I know, right? I can't say it. They, they were, <laughs> they were, they were literally, they were, they were sitting with microscopes and all. So they're looking at stuff in microscopes, and then they just come over and go right. We'll be with you in a minute, and they were all. They, they were both like there was two people. They were nice, uh, and then when we went in, I I was going. She 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 didn't say anything that was like you're that guy. She was very professional, but there, I doubt that she'll always go at everyone that Danders yes. in, or maybe she does. I don't know. It, it felt like she sort of knew who it was about. Yeah, you get the you get the look, and you know, right? So yeah. I felt that that was a thing, but also. This is the thing about like having stuff in the room, though. You probably wouldn't want it. I mean, unless they're see, unless it's like a fresh mag that out would, of the that shop. Would turn me off. Nothing would turn me off more than a porn mag. I know. Plus, plus the guy that's been grubbly looking through. I, it I think the way people get on now, see, since like the invention of like online comments, people feel that they're entitled to comment on everything. So, like, imagine going in there and then like people are going to complain that it's not the category that they want. There wasn't you know a lot I mean? of diversity. Is there any way to get more grannies? You know, like, yeah. you know, um, so anyway, uh, into? yep. <laughs> granny porn. Uh, 
Johnny <laughs> Porn. Uh, so we um, it, it was just very, it was very weird. Put a du- bit of WD forty this, in that love. I've never, <laughs> I've never, I've never Came jizzed. I've never jizzed in a plastic <laughs> cup and gone. Yeah. Afterwards, holding it in my hand, going. And you've never done it in a plastic cup before, and not drank it. No, well that's it. Well that's it. We'll see. I would prefer to use a wine glass. So anyway, I was going like, I was going. I don't know what. I was going. I don't know. It was very weird. And then, so you hand it back. Well, well, in fairness, they get they give you so you you tighten it, and then they give you a wee bag, wee biohazard bag. Yep. yep. Why are all of these things transparent though? That would be my yeah. so that as you're walking through the hospital with it. Now, granted, it's not far, but I did pass one person, so I'm going. Yeah, I would have said, in case we're running out of milk, I know, you know uh, salmon milk. <laughs> She's like, why is it green? I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is yours too? Yeah, just uh, that's a that's like a falls road thing. <laughs> so um, it was just falls weird, road. and then I like that, and uh, so obviously before I went back out with it, I day chickened and fucking put my bags back on, rebagged. So I go out, <laughs> I. Uh, It'd be so weird if you were just getting on like you were in your house, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Haven't even washed my hands yet. There you go. Right. So, did all that, and um, uh, then she. So this. So I. I ring the wee bell at this wee weird window, like a wee half window that they come to. Sorry and to to signify you've. You, to, sig- to signify that I have my bag of ding chairs. dong ding. <laughs> it was it was because they weren't they they were busy looking at microscopes. Right. So you have to press the wee button. So she comes over. She could have been more chipper, by the way, but she was. Just, she just went. Well, you look like a brush after a pair of pajamas. Hello, I'm I'm going. You we're we're both well aware that I've just wanked in that room, <clears throat> and possibly it shook a shit out of me. I don't know, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> um. And she go and I hand it over. She goes, and I'm like, don't oh, look at it, don't look at it in front of me. Yeah. She goes, right. And was there any wee spillages? Oh. No, that's everything, including my dignity. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> like, and she goes, okay. Well, you get the results go to your GP in two weeks. And I'm like, cracker, I can't wait. I can't fucking wait. Speaking of two weeks, where's William? So Take you, you tell a story where you just finish. Yep. And your natural reaction is William. William. Um, um, Will, so Willie T was supposed to be on this episode with us, but um, in true Willie T, Willie T is like a 90s sitcom character. His granda has locked him in the house. We don't know if it's a Fritzel style move, but like his granda, Willie's granda, he talks about it in stand up, Willie's granda has dementia. Mm-hmm. He's trying to track down, Willie's locked in the house. I said, is there not a back door or could you climb out the window? That makes a valid point, mobility issues, right? Here's here's another valid point that was made. Why does William not have his own key to get out of the house? Yeah, that's one. He's playing in a live escape room in his own house right now. He's 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 like P7. I'm, like, oh, I'm locked in the house. I can't. Oh, my granddad's locked me in. Yeah. I um, can't give you back international we'll track phone and field. See, see if we can status update. Yeah. I can't, give you back Mor- I can't give you back Mortal Kombat today. My granddad's locked me in. Let me see. Maybe I'm starving, by the way. What? I'm starving. Oh, a taco, having a wank. Willie, what's happening, brother? You're on the pod. What's happening? Did you get my tag? No. What? What's hap- What's it? What's the latest? I'm still locked in my house waiting on my granddad coming back. Like, there's a couple of questions from the team here. Uh, what one valid one being? Why do you not have your own key for your house? I do, but I have lost it. So you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you last have it? Oh fuck no! It's been lost for like a week. I need to get a new one. Right, and is there a back door at the property? It is, but my granddad also has the key for that. Um, what about like windows or anything like that? I'll let you have three guesses why I can't get out of a window. Because you're double booked. <laughs> They're double glazed and they're very small. Right. Maybe a time before my stomach hung over my knees, I'd be able to get out a window. Right. Did he just describe himself as double glazed and very small? Would you? Would you consider like is is the back door glass or anything? Like could you smash it and then reach through? Smash the back door. (laughs) Smash your grandma's back door, Emily. 
Or would like, would you be open? You That's a ridiculous notion. Well, what if your grandma smashed your back door in? <laughs> He'd probably go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, look, just keep us posted, okay? Hopefully you can, even if you can make lunch, I'll be good. Right, no worries. I'll let you know. I'm literally waiting for him to fucking solve it. I don't even know where he is. Right. What about you? Where's your granny? She's away to church. She always goes on the weekends. Right. Where's your sister? She's at her girlfriend's. Right. All right. <laughs> Speak to you later. <laughs> Bye. He's lying. He's raging. He is raging. I think he's down giving a semen sample somewhere. <laughs> That's why I was talking yesterday to everybody. No. I'm so that in. was only yesterday? Uh, I was grim. Two weeks. Yeah. It's been rare. I don't I, I would I would struggle with the awkwardness of that. Oh, as it was well. mate, the, the actual room. See the seat. Mate well this this was one thing about the seat. I'd bring a candle for the room. I uh well it, <clears throat> this was one thing about the seat though. To put right under Cho the balls. Chloe was like, Chloe was like <laughs> Chloe said <laughs> Chloe goes <laughs> she, <laughs> Chloe literally goes, Will there be like a bed with a wee blanket and all? <laughs> and I went, A jizz catcher? No. I don't think so. A bed right. with a wee blanket. That's what she said. And I oh, went, do you know no. what as well? Do you know as well? See, some people will be like, Oh, I could I even put some music on? You know, people will put on like the weekend or something. Yeah, and I know to be the me. The, 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 no, the only coat. guy that would put on Babylon by David Gray. Oh, Babylon by David Gray, knitted blanket. I'm getting up to your nose. We always and put our maiden on when we're gonna do something mental. Now I um, I I think uh, <laughs> what are you being serious? What? Well, fuck off! I'm not no. What are you been on? I don't know that music is a big part of that for us. Okay. Maybe it is. Sting. Anyway, right. <laughs> um. No, oh, we, Brian Kennedy. <laughs> Put the message in the box. That's a great song. We uh, it was a great song. Everybody had that album. Yeah, it great in the cover of that. Do you remember? It was. It was great. Majestic kind of guy. Yeah, great. Her. Stole the show. George Best Funeral. He did. He did. When I am down. He uh, remember he stole the show on Van Morrison a couple of times in the nineties. Yeah. Remember when he when he'd have been doing that's uh, all when God shines his light. Yeah. What was there was there was another one he did with him. Days like this. Days like this. Um, so I, uh, yeah. When you don't meet a chancer. Every day days is like this. Um, it's great. We. So yeah, sorry. So so there was there was the yeah. Chloe said to me, "Will there be a wee bed and all?" And I went, "I wouldn't have thought so." But in my head, I did. Do you know what I thought there would be? You know when a doctor says, "Pop up on the couch." Yeah. And there's a a thing to lie on. I thought that was going to be there. Right. So that if you're a sit-up white guy, you have an option. <laughs> if you're a lie-down white guy, yeah. you have an option. Yeah. If you're a stander, yeah. you have always options, right? Yeah, yeah. So I was going, you know what I mean? Basically, uh, the only thing that we don't have an option for is a silk curtain high upside down white guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And here, there was no... I'd just bring one from home then. There was no, yeah, there was no plastic bags around either, so no auto asphyxiation going on. But um, Imagine you asked that at the last minute. I Sorry, I don't mean to be rude. I've just never done this before. Is there a noose or anything I, I could... <laughs> is there a noose? I don't mean to... It, would you be able... Is it... Could I... Would you walk on my back? That, I thought I thought it would be. Can you come in and shout abuse at me? Yeah. Tell me I'm dirty, <laughs> right? There was. I I said to Chloe it'd be funny to go down and go full name and you just unzip and go Karen Bartlett. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, but it was it was fucking mental. The seat the seat was very uncomfortable because because it, it was jammed into a corner but you couldn't move it. Right. You know what I mean? So and then you become aware that if you start trying to fucking re feng shui the place, yes, that you're adding time onto your clock out time. So yes. It's a fucking nightmare. Do you, know, dumb, do you know? what? See, ten minutes, not not ten minutes after I fucking handed that bag over. You went to Hands were shining, by the way. Cafe, o. right? Cafe, o, straight in for a croissant. Forget about the whole thing. <laughs> it's it, it's fucking roomy. It roomy. I mean, how quick would you not in cafe? O? Oh, you look around. Depends. It depends how much pastry's left. Because yeah. the oh, do you know what started happening recently when we go down on Sundays? Pastry's gone, mate. It sells out early. People have started. People have started like it's getting earlier. Used to be that if you were there by twelve, you'd get something. Then it was like well, eleven's the time. Now it's like yes. on a Sunday you need to be there like between half nine and ten if you want sauce. Like people are getting up earlier. I know. I've started. Someone has to sit. People are getting up earlier. You're uh, honestly, you're right because 
you might remember doing anything on a Sunday if you were going to arrange anything with a friend on a Sunday. 11 or at least. 11 or 12. Nowadays, yeah. people. 8 a.m. That's, that's 9 shit. Oh, fuck well, you, I, li- I like the early. St- I'm an early I'm guy. getting better at it, but it melts. Uh, do you know what I hate? I, I hate it being every day for you, five days. What do you think of this? I'm going to. No, like I need, you know, I can save it's Monday. Well, you Tuesday. have to get up early. Save, couple it's, days in save a row. it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday early. So that's okay. If Thursday and Friday, I'm in the house. Right. Yeah, but the, but Saturday and Sunday, everybody's off. No, <laughs> not everyone. Most people. Tell you one guy who isn't. God. Yeah. <laughs> Always working. Um, what was I going to say to you there? Oh, I know. Sorry about people like me not being early and doing anything. We were in Amsterdam there. Late night, I don't mind saying this, half one, quarter to two, we were going back to the hotel. But our flight the next day was 12.50. So me and Tony got up very early. Um, me, him and Sean Hegarty went for a nice walk around Amsterdam and a breakfast. Late night, 8am, we made a point of 8am wake up, we'll be down in the lobby for half eight, go for this walk. Would you have joined us? No. Yeah. If it had been nine, I could have considered it. Because I would get up at eight. I wouldn't see to meet people at eight. I, I would have to be getting up at seven, and I don't wake up. Right. You need to put a chair into your corner. And <laughs> I'd, have to, I'd have to quickly <laughs> thumb one out in the room temperature bag, and then. Uh, oh, I was so sad. I that was sounds like sa- a really disrespectful term for a woman. I'll be. <laughs> She's a room temperature bag. <laughs> that old room temperature bag. I, uh, that's great. It's the sad, <clears throat> the saddest wank I've ever had. Uh, <laughs> use that as a really like uh, dramatic trailer for this episode. Yeah. Um, here's a stinker. I'm going on Monday to Copenhagen and Oslo. In which order? I don't know. With Willie on Monday, the only flight we can get is from Dublin, six twenty-five a.m. Monday. Uh, from Dublin, stinker. Oh, two, two and a quarter, like two and a quarter hour flight, so it's going to be fine. But so the, you're hanging on Copenhagen all day. But we couldn't go. I don't mind. Are that. you staying in Copenhagen that night? Yeah, yeah. Well, that means you can check. You can maybe get a wee early check in. We eleven a.m. one or something. We can see the city, but if we went from Belfast, we couldn't go direct. We can get there at four twenty-five, and with my luck, it shows. We know. Yeah. Show starts at eight. We get yeah. there at seven fifty-eight. You'll be there when Copenhagen's actually called something new. Yeah. They just change the name of the city. Like what? I'm know. reading. I brought you a book. I ordered yeah. a book on Amazon about the pyramids and ordered two. So I'm going to give you one. Amazing. Thank you. No problem. How how sick we're talking. I've started to enjoy wee thin books. But that. Books that. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, I've started. That's it, very thin. I've started, That's just a book. I've started to enjoy we we. But it's long. We thins. <laughs> you enjoy thin ones? I've, I enjoy wee thins. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's, like doing a, it's like doing a documentary. What do you think like, of thick ones? <laughs> You'll devour those People who can't read at all I uh, I think uh, That's harsh That's so latest Anyway Seriously I'll learn uh, But anyway No the, what do you call it the, the I've started to enjoy Like wee short documentaries I've stopped I've stopped enjoying these Needless six parters Yeah Give me Give me a Give me an hour and a half Do you want to watch the other day It was good Grant Mitchell On uh, On the Hatton Garden Heist Oh I mean if any if I 45 want any, minutes If I want anyone to fill me in on that it's Grant, Grant Mitchell. Did you know that he was his dad was in the the Flans squad in Scotland Yard? I didn't know it. Right. Um. And they 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 were the ones that went after the Hatton Garden Raiders. Those old old bastards. They have a high opinion of themselves. Never kept their feet in the ground. Oh, Flans squad. Fair enough. Yeah, it's good. Um, it's good. That's what yeah, I have no interest in the Hatton Garden robbery. Why? Don't care. I like rob. I like robberies. <laughs> no, I'm I'm fascinated. Wait till they play that in court. I'm <laughs> I'm I'm fascinated by the concept of of uh like burglary and planning. robbery. What? Too much planning. I could never be part of it. Unless we're going today to do it. Here's a question, right? Because this came up in this documentary, which and this was something I didn't know about it. Say if say say me, you this is all hypothetical. Say me, you, Willie, uh, and Dave were uh all doing a robbery, right? No one would suspect you, he'll tell you why. Chloe <laughs> and Kevin weren't there. <laughs> Yeah, I've got I've got them doing my alibi. <laughs> we, we booked two family rooms in a Holiday Inn. I had to be there. I, it's in my name. I had to be there to check in. Right. So, um, so me, you, Willie, and Dave. Me, you, Willie, and Dave are doing a robbery, right? Yes. And um, we're in and say, uh, Willie Willie's uh, double booked himself with uh, something else that he's meant to be doing, and in the middle of actually committing the robbery, 
actually committing the robbery leaves right and goes uh, like, what's his role is he the getaway driver or is he so he's a guy let's say Willie is a guy who's literally drilling through part of the wall right, right. and in the middle of it the drill or whatever it is breaks and you he should goes, do that now he get out of his house and he goes <laughs> and he goes I'm out and he leaves do we know he's left yeah you know he's gone right and you have to come back the next day to finish the robbery because you're doing this over a weekend right. right you're coming back the next day this is what they did and then that, and then you get away with the stuff. Then afterwards, when you're in the fucking hiding out and laying low period, that guy says he wants a cut. I'm going, you go and get fucked That's up. like you drop out of a charity gig. <coughs> and, uh, I, I replace. and Dave has to do it. Yeah. yeah. That's like you drop out of a corporate and I have to replace you and don't know what I'm getting paid. Yeah, it's crazy that I've been admitted to the hospital that day. <laughs> you weren't no, feeling, no, were feeling well last this week. This is all hypothetical, Shane. Before? Yeah, it's hypothetical. But hypothetically, <laughs> I'd been in hospital in Dublin with an asthma attack on a family holiday and you weren't feeling the best. Uh, hypothetically, but... Um, hypothetically, have a Baraka and do it. Now, hypothetically... Um, a ten, here, here's a question for you as a comedian, right? See if you've been booked to do 10 minutes. And when you get there, and, and fuck, before you're even there, somebody says to you, I'm not going, do 20. Is that a big problem for you? It's not a big problem for me. I if would, it, I if it was hypothetically a snooker event, I'd be going, <laughs> I'd prefer someone else was here to do a set too. But that's hypothetical. If the person organising that whole event hadn't even told you what you were meant to be doing yet, mm-hmm. and you also hypothetically. felt sick. Hypothetically, and you felt sick. Yeah. Wouldn't you think... I'm better getting well here instead of going out to something I don't know what I'm doing and I'm uh, not well and I don't want to infect other people with whatever it is no, I, I have. Infected them. A general malaise. Um, is that where it was? I thought it was in Newton. Yeah. Um, anyway. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, though, in the robbery situation yeah. and that person says to you, I want to cut, do you go, I know worries or do you go, fuck yourself? I say fuck yourself. I would say fuck yourself, but part of me is thinking maybe I need to keep him sweet. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, okay, he's done a shit thing, but... But he, but but he can't incriminate you because if he did, he he would also go down because he well, did. Well, then no, I don't give him. He a cut. did take part in the robbery. By the way, but he didn't finish taking part in the robbery. Did they catch the guys? Oh, why? Did they all go to jail now? Yes. Or are they out? Uh some of them are out. One of them's dead, and one of them is still in. The the ones did they lose all the money? Like, right, right, right. Did they get some money off them? Uh, I think, well, I think they, they caught them red-handed with a load of the stuff, I think, right. was, was part of it. Mad, like. Yeah. Mad story. I, do you know what I remember about that when that happened? I remember that all the they experts on Sky News were going, this is uh, ex-Russian military, these are people from Serbia, all this. And then it turns out, actually, Just it's Michael Caine and the lads from yeah. fucking... It was Dad's army. Yeah. It was a lot of old dads. Who, who's broke in through this wall? Jim Broadbent. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like fucking <laughs> mental. It was old boys. Like. Yeah, it was just old. old but old like, boys know how to get it done. I know, but there were there were one of them's on talking. This documentary is forty five minutes. I'll watch it's it. Very I swear good. To, I swear it's to very good. I've started watching Kin, and was I wasn't sure about it at the start, but now I like it. Is it good? Because I was comparing it to Love Hate, and I loved Love Hate. Love Hate was good. Um, but Ken is Ken is good. Mm. Ian Gillen's good in anything he does. He Kieran Hines is in it. He's brilliant. He is brilliant. It's I good. like him. I like him in uh, in Harry Potter. Would you he like plays it Dumbledore's if, brother? Would you like it if we did a gritty Belfast drum? Yes, Shane. I've I've had one written. Hypothetically, it's been with a large studio right. that I've worked with before. Yeah, you know, connected with BBC, and they haven't pitched it because right. we're waiting on the outcome of a show that got knocked back recently. Hypothetically, hypothetical. You raging about that? Hypothetically. hypothetically I'm no longer wanting to speak to half the people in that place, hypothetically. Right. Gritty Belfast drama. Gritty Belfast. What would it be called, hypothetically? I can't tell you what it's called, hypothetically. No. But hypothetically, what's it called? Oh, but I can't tell you. I actually can't tell you that. Because some can't all steal it. It's good. It's a good name. Do you know what it's called? It's, it's called, good. It's called Fuck's Sake. It's called, it's, it, should, it should be called Fuck's Sake. Sake. Yeah, well, you have to say it like that. So the continuity announcers on BBC, you have to go, and next on BBC, Fuck's Sake. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what they call him? They're a good Fuck's Sake, Beatty. didn't they? The ultimate Fuck's Sake. Uh, so Kieran wrote a thing for uh, Channel 4, Blap, 
to go online on Channel 4 and I was in it and Ian Beatty from Game of Thrones and, and many other group productions plays like the lead in it uh, through bad guy and he has to say the line in it reacting to something fuck fuck's sake. sake and we would all deliver it like this oh fuck's sake Ian Beatty's fuck's sake should have won him an Oscar yeah yeah and it wasn't even a film but the way he said it's the fuck's sake it, it is fuck sake it is the greatest fuck sake I've there's ever so had many life. levels to it yeah uh, it was great it's, that should have, I, I loved it filming I love that I love that I, w- I would fully have loved to have made that like. You, we filmed it and you just sat outside the shop when we were filming it in fingerless gloves on a little on a little stool you and Kev eating soup this is what they do see when you're the writer they want you around but you, you're doing nothing like. yeah yeah uh, I I love that. Do you know what was better though? On the last thing that we shot that doesn't get made, cheers lads, was the uh, <laughs> hypothetically, <laughs> hypothetically. Thank you very much. Um, the last thing is uh, I had a chair and all for that. I didn't have to sit on the ground. Right. So you're I moving still, on up. I still had circulation after that, but it was good. Can I say looking back, I I, I stole that chair as well. Hypothetically, I don't think costumes were right. Pardon? I don't think costumes were right. I don't think costume I was wrong was right. No, here I wasn't happy. Do you know what? There's things I wasn't happy with, and a lot of it was to do with that. Quite, quite true. Because with stuff like that, especially if it's shot in our Ireland, anywhere in Ireland, we have to like believe it. Yeah, mate. That's my. That this is my. This is my thing. And with that stuff, I that's st- a lot of that stuff got taken over by other people, and I'm sitting going. Kieran by is it fair to say, Brit? Hypothetically, and uh, also by uh, some people from down south. It's the most aggressive drinking of a water I've ever seen in my life. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Um, that was good too, wasn't it? That was very, that was very good. Do, my, you know who, do you know who loves that, by the way? Uh, Dave. Dave. My favourite scene I've ever acted in is um, where Ian Beatty in it is being like really intense. They're Chloe and Tara, and Chloe's man in it, and... Um, I pop out and I ask if anybody I'm supposed to be this menacing sidekick yeah. and I ask if anybody wants custard cream, cream yeah. with the tea that was my favourite I loved all that see uh, do you know some people I, I think some people didn't get some, some uh, just in comments and stuff pe- people don't get stuff all the time and I'm sitting going oh my my like pe- yeah. people didn't get that the point is Ian Beatty is like sort of he's actually hard on it but even then has like a couple of he's got charisma he, yeah but he has like m- mitigating things that don't make him as hard as he seems yeah like he's like hypoglycemic and stuff like That's that right. and then your character's meant to be like learning from him but you're also like you're like a wee dick yeah you know and it's sort of like and, 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 character for and you're trying you're trying to be but you, but the whole point of your character isn't that you're hard the whole point of your character is you're standing there and no one buys you as a hard man. Yes. That's the whole point. And like people are like, don't don't really buy Shane Todd being this. And I'm going, yeah, fuck you. He's playing this exactly the way it is. Played very well. You That's did. Brilliant, you were very, you were you were excellent on it. Should go spin off. Hypothetically, should go spin off. Should, should we can do a spin off. Do you know I've, I've written a similar thing, uh, like in the same sort of world, with a similar boss and sidekick uh, vibe. In, in it's that. almost like the same show, but you've renamed it. It's not. It's, it's very. It's what do you very, say to people who say that? It's very different. I say you're incorrect. Right. But no, it's very different, and it's a feature. Okay. But like it, it has the two of the characters are similar to that, but not the same. More more father sonny, but fun. Um, that sounds like you describe some really negative father sonny a little bit, like a like a older couple. No, no. no. Although that, Father that, Sonny, he's thirty. He's thirty-two. He's fifty-eight. Father Sonny Father sounds Sonny. like the coolest priest in New York. You know yeah, I mean? it's Father Sonny. Father Sonny. <laughs> Father Sonny's the only priest that plays ball. <laughs> he's, the, he's the only. He's the only priest that the, the mob say no to. He's or, dunking he's, on the devil. This guy. <laughs> sorry, he's, he's the he's the only priest. That says no to the mob yeah, and they yeah, take yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. He's the real godfather. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> He's up there in Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What a time. Father Sonny, what's your strike? <laughs> and he loves it like Father Sonny loves it. <laughs> and then the the does somebody find out that Father Sonny might have killed somebody? Yep. Back in the day? Yep. You know, pre pre uh pre seminary. He, get, he, he at the end so basically they're, analysis. they're trying to cut they're trying to close his church down oh, that's, that's the film that's good uh, and, and the mob are basically saying we'll give you the money to keep it afloat 
he won't take that he money. Won't take it. But what he is going to do is play a pickup game of basketball and gamble it all. Oh, I love it. Father Sonny. And it's him and a load of these kids, basically, versus these, like, non white guys. Father jump shot. We love it. Now, Father Sonny. Father Sonny. Yeah. No, no, I'm just saying that's what he calls it when he. Right, right, right. You know no, he I mean? said, no, no. Three pointer, he says, Amen. Oh. Yeah. That's enjoyable. Yeah. I'll take that. Who would play Father Sonny? I'm seeing, like, I'm seeing Will- Willem Dafoe. Oh, that's old. He's old to be basketballing, though. Okay. Um, He's, he can be he can be the bishop that won't give Father Sonny the money that he needs to keep yeah, church yeah, open. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. You know what about uh, what what about like um, Toby Maguire or somebody like that? Ed Norton. He's he played a basketball and priest and keep keeping the faith with well, him and Stella then. and Smelly. What do you call your woman? Smelly someone. Oh, sorry, I must have said that wrong. Um, your woman that was in Dharma and Greg Dharma, right? Remember Dorman and Greg from the 90s? No. Was it a sitcom? He's an uptight office guy. She's a free spirit. <laughs> Comedy. When, world, when worlds collide. Comedy. What's the number one... Uh, What's her name? Why did I say smelly? What's the number one sitcom? What? Jenna Elfman? <laughs> Why is my brain... Why should you call her smelly? I've tried to say Elfman. <laughs> and my brain has said... Smelly. Did you just short circuit? I think it did. I think we. Do you need to go into the, the bathroom? The wee operator <laughs> moving the fucking leads around in my brain just went. No, it's that one. That's weird. Pull Dharma and Greg out of my dick hole of that. Isn't that what that movie's called? Keeping the faith. Ed Ed Norton plays a priest who's friends with Ben Stiller, who plays a rabbi. They're all friends with Dharma. Right. Uh with Elfman, and they smelly. They they smell her, and they decide. <laughs> Stiller's gonna uh, Stiller's gonna go out with her but Edward Norton also fancies her but he can't go out with her because he's a priest and that's what it's about but it's a comedy right keeping the faith unbelievable knowledge 1999 uh, oh, it annoys me when you say the year like that oh. it annoys me when you say the year like that oh 1999 so. 99 2000 man I'm trying to get Jared Butler on the podcast at the minute Pardon? I'm trying to get Gerald Butler on the po- Gerard Butler. I put up an Instagram the other Should night. Should get me in when Willie's not even here. Why you fucking get me in when Butler's in? We can compare him? six packs. I yeah. know who Leonidas is. Um, he, I wrote up on Instagram the other night. Still trying to get Gerald Butler. I wrote Gerald instead of Gerard. And everyone, he's not coming on now, mate. You call him Gerald. Gerald. I don't think that's going to be the difference in him coming on. Gerald is a way less cool name he's than Gerard. Here. Is he? Yes, he's here shooting a movie for a few months. Fuck's sake. I'm now, but I know his barber, I found out. So I'm on to him. Nope, not Coco. He should. He should. Jared, if you're watching. No blasters. Fancy a wee game of FIFA, mate? A wee I'd, pizza? I'd feed you. I'd be so cross. I'd be so happy. I know you would. I'm, I I would be very happy. Uh, what do you call him? Do you know, I, 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 don't, I have no way of making this happen. But I would absolutely be up a route. I know he's coming here to do music. Russell Crowe. Oh, mate. You're a wee dick. I bet you you have a way. I have a contact. I know you have a... I know you do. I know you do. Here, I'll let you have Jar Butler. I'll tell you what. Contact. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll ask him to do No Blast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could you imagine? I'll be great. I deserve to meet Crow. I've seen all of his films. He'd like Joxer too, wouldn't he? I've seen Romper Stomper. If you, uh, a few, a Cinderella few. Man. That's a great film. That's a, probably the best boxing film. Yeah. Probably. Raging Bull's great as well. Raging Bull. <laughs> Sorry, Raging Bull. <laughs> I think in between what we both say is right. Raging, Raging Bull. Raging Bull. That's that's the name of it. Bull. Yeah, the Jake the Matter movie. Jake the Matter? Yeah. Anyway. It's great. The Matter sauce. Um, where are you gigging this weekend, mate? I am doing two shows in Bangor, Friday, Saturday. Uh, when's the squat? You just. Is it ages? I. Two, two weeks. I'll, I'm on tour. I'm in, I'm in. Do you know where I am? I'm in Glasgow and Amber already sold out. I'm in, I'm in Newcastle upon Tyne on the 2nd of April. Then Manchester, 3rd of April, London, 4th of April, Liverpool, 5th of April. 
say London, 4th of April. We don't know if that show is happening now because it's the venue. The Keep venue. an eye out on socials. The, uh, venue, the venue isn't really Dick doing gigs anymore. It's There's been a whole scandal. And uh, I th- we, we may be moving it or we might be doing it, in which case there is no scandal. <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically. Yeah, do it so, in a hat and garden in the vault. Oh, here. Um, I would never have got through that whole thing. You could just move it to do another venue. Oh, they're t- they're talking tr- about we're that? Tr- we're trying. It's to try to get one on that day at short notice. It's difficult. Hmm. You know, because it's a, I think it's a Thursday or Friday. Buckingham Palace? I would do Buckingham Palace, although I don't want, wild. I'd be scared to go in there in case they just start photoshopping me and getting on like it's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, Did you see George Galloway saying, like, uh, you know, the MP? Yeah. Uh, I know him, I know him because of this. Would you like me to be the cat? Yeah. Oh, he loves being a cat. I know. I get, I get, Dan, listen to this. Close your eyes and just listen to this through your headphones. I'm doing that too. Hang Ready? Now, now, at the start of this, listen, because his mouth's a wee bit dry and he does this noise at the start of it, right? Would you like me to be the cat? That's pretty good. That's good, isn't it? It's pretty good. That's good. All the perfumes of Arabia. <laughs> That's uh, something that he said before as well. Uh <laughs> um, it was like could not cover up the stench of your corruption or something like that. Yeah. Anyway, right? So it sounds like he's opened up a discounted aftershave shop. <laughs> George Gallagher. Come on down! Oh, the oh, perfumes of Arabia. Arabia and Versace blue jeans. Yeah. Cardboard <laughs> color to John Leslie. Anyway, so the um, so the what were we on about? Oh, why George Galloway said that he, he weirdly was, I'm asking you to promote your tour, and this is where you're at. <laughs> Tour's gonna be class. Come see it. George Galloway was saying he he, he he was accusing her of being dead. He, right. he said she's been missing for eighty days. So, uh, is is she alive? Is she dead? And I'm going, George. That's quite the limb you're out on there, Matt. Like you're gonna have to do like weekend at Bernie's. Oh well, well that's what he's saying they're doing with the the Photoshop photos. But it is the the week weekend at Charlie's. Yeah, if you will. Yeah. Um, we'll put the link for the tour in the description. What uh, and Belfast shows? Belfast. Uh, Promote oh yeah. your show. Opera House. Opera House. And I'm going Belfast. Smelly. What am I doing? <laughs> Smelly. <laughs> and then Smelly. My show's called Smelly of the Smelly House. I'm doing. I'm doing Phantom of the Opera House. It's a stand-up comedy show. For the last well. Time. Uh, more I'm singing. That. I'm doing. I'm singing. doing. I'm doing stand up comedy. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera House in the Opera House. Twenty third. Are you of doing September. additional stand up comedy shows? Twenty third September the twentieth. Yes. Two shows on twenty seventh. He's singing 20th. the music from the Phantom of the Opera from start to finish. Tickets at gohh.co.uk. Yep. Dot com. Dot you and UK. Brian Kennedy singing the put Phantom the of message the in the box. Smelly message. I don't know. Drive the car around the world. Is that is that we uplift on? Black Lives Matter. Um, so that was that was quite a moment in history, that wasn't it? If it happened any other time, by the middle of COVID, it would yeah. have been wild. But yeah. it was just any other day in COVID. A lot, a lot of weird. Do you remember the? Do you remember the? My the, hair. Remember when they all? Do you remember when they Nothing all? Nothing weirder uh, than that. Do you remember when all the celebrities sang something? Well, what Jamie was Dornan was part of that, and then did tea with me uh, Ger- like when during was COVID, around. and right. was talking about it. Yeah. What was the what was the crack? What was that they were singing? They were I trying to heal the world. Just it was imagined by John Lennon. What do you call the Israeli actress? Really good looking one. Gil Gadot. Wonder Woman. Yeah, she yeah. said. I think she set the whole thing up. I think he, after the reaction, he was like, "Cheers, Gil." Oh, Appreciate it, bro. It did it did badly, didn't it? What was it? Just because it felt tone deaf? Yeah, just all these rich people singing about let's heal the we world. We should have done a comedians COVID. black and white um, maniac two thousand during it. I can I can play imagine on the piano. A wee bit not as well as John yeah well no, okay um, say, do you play one key at a time with your whole hand I know the wee bit dum, 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 I can do it patreon.com slash tea with me podcast we're about to we're going to go have lunch and then record a live stream episode when hopefully Willie T has escaped the crystal maze that is his granny grand I house. almost don't want them to meet us for lunch because he hasn't earned it He's like the Hatton Garden Rover again. <laughs> <laughs> he said he would be there as part of the team. He hasn't, and now he wants a chicken and waffles cut. But we got to cut him in, otherwise, he, he, you know. We should order a meal that's for William, but before he gets there, we all take bits of it. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. 
You said you want to eat his lunch. Want to eat. <laughs> I just, I just um, want, I want two lunches. So, so we're going to do the live stream. So we do it every Friday. Patreon.com slash TV podcast. Kieran's on tour. Uh, go see the show. He's going all around the UK and then he's coming back to do the big opera house shows. Um, I told him he should do stand up for it, but he's insisting he wants to sing the Phantom of the Opera soundtrack. <laughs> we'll put the link in the description. Um, thank you for coming on the pod That's as trauma. always. And can I say something? Can you look? Can you look at me when I say this? I love you. I love you. Thanks. I was joking. <laughs> when people get rich.